Welcome back everyone. All right, so I've shown you how to put in a link. Let's go ahead and let's put in an image. All right, I wouldn't be uh, giving you a good HTML tutorial if you didn't get an image. Now what I want you to do is go to any website and I want you to find a good image and I want you to right click and I want you to go to copy image URL. Now you can't really see that there because it came out of the uh, video here, but you can just go to copy URL like that and then we can hop back in here. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is type in IMG SRC, which is source equals and then two quotes and then close that off. And all you do is you put in the uh, you just put it in right there. And as you can see, it works out here. Now, this image here is actually quite a bit bigger. And what you can do here is you can actually change the size. So watch this right now. The image works. Uh, the, the way it works, right? It just it puts on the screen. We haven't changed anything. We can add a bunch of properties to this. So watch what happens when we put the width, we're going to go to equals and put a couple quotes. And let's say we put 100. That means the width of the, this image is going to be 100 pixels. If we type in 1,000, you can see that the width is 1,000. Now, obviously, if I take a look at this here, 1,000 stretches out this image, and you can see how it's all blurry. You never, ever want that. I'm just showing this to you for demonstration purpose. And if you want to do, let's say, something like 2,000, right? you can see that it gets even bigger. Let's just go back to about 300. Okay. That's very similar to what, what it is here. Now, you'll notice that if I put the width just like this, it scales the width and the height. But if you want to make the height equal to something, let's say, 100, like this, you can see that the height is now 100 and the width is now 300. Let's make this a box, all right? So everything is now... Um, is now distorted and again you don't want this but I'm just showing you that if you put either one of width or one of height it's gonna scale it what we call proportionally meaning that the width is going to be 300 and the height is going to scale uh, proportionally so if the, if the uh, the width is 300 and the original which is two times so let's say we have 150 width and we scale it up to 300, so that's twice the amount of width, and the height was 100. Uh, if we just put the width down, the height would then be 200. It's pretty simple, okay? So if you want to go ahead and you can add in different kinds of, um, you can add in different uh, widths to your image if you want to. However, it's best that you go and make the image to whatever size you need for the website. So if you are in Photoshop or something like that, and you need a, uh, an image that's 300 by 100, make it 300 by 100. What you can get away with, however, is you can, get, you can get away with shortening the image. So if you make something, let's say, by you know, 500 by 300, you can scale that down. It's always better to scale down than to scale up. All right? So that's how you add an image. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.